Okay. Oh, oh, Jesus. The old SI adjustment. Now, here's what the SI joint feels like if you have a problem. Check it out. Right here, your iliac, this is the top of your crest where it meets here. If you get a pinchy pain, like you put your thumb in there in that dimple, when you lean back or when you run or walk down a hill, you probably have an SI joint that's locked up. Let's mobilize it. Now, this is going to provide you temporary relief, okay? So what you're going to do is find a doorway, find a pole, find something, a person. Now, get your foot in there, drive it, knee about 90 degree angle, put your hand, find that bump, okay? Find that little bump down there, get it? And now what you're going to do, the other hand pulls the knee down, shoulder rolls back, and you're going to breathe. All the way in and all the way out. You can even give it a little bump. Try to give it like a little bump. If you feel a pop or a release, it's going to buy you un poquito amount of tiempo. All right, let it out. Oh, that's one way to adjust the middle back. If you got somebody knows what they're doing, if you don't, you can learn yourself. Check this out. Get yourself a stick, a pole, a broom, something. Set it up, shoulder height, hands a little above shoulder, nice wide stance, all right? Get down into a hip hinge position from a side angle. You shouldn't be all rounded, Jesus. Shouldn't be all rounded. Now, what you're gonna do from this angle is this. Pay attention, simply let the stick roll over to a side, Focus on dropping the shoulder in between the toes down to the ground. Let this hand release in the air and breathe. You may feel some mobilization in the middle back. It feels really good. It's an awesome stretch. Now, you can, what we got going on here? Partner assisted, this is great. You can get a leg in here, and what you can do here is you can just crank like a freaking opening up a wine bottle or a corkscrew. Awesome release exercise. All right. Oh, oh you can learn to self-mobilize your knee. No one else is around. What it's doing is releasing the pressure, and it's going to allow you to properly position your knee to strengthen it correctly. Now, to do this on your own, what you can do, get your hand, okay? You got a hand, right? Put it in there. Wedge it in there. The other way, Andrew. Oh, like that. Okay. Now, what you're going to do, though, Marisol, come here, quick. Go forward a little more, Andrew. What you want to do is really, I'm talking like wedge it behind the knee as close as you can. Like really get it, and then pinch it, and sit back like this. Breathe, relax. You may want to gently push into it. You may feel a nice release in that knee. If you do, it, it's not going to fix anything, but it's going to allow you a little bit more movement to work on proper form and technique so you don't need to do that very often. Got it? That feels amazing. <laughs> That's how to adjust the pubic symphysis right here, okay? It is literally right there. That's a good hip release. It'll help you be a little more mobile through the hips. If you don't have a professional doing it, guess what? You can learn how to do something similar yourself. Get a stick. Put one end of it in between this knee and one on top of the thigh. Marisol, come over here. Quickly. Get a side angle. Keep coming, Marisol. There you go. Take, switch it up now. And what you're going to do is push into this stick here with this and pull. You're creating opposite motion. And now what you do is get a yoga block, start wide. Pull as hard as you can with your knees. Pull them together. Breathe. Then go. If it doesn't go, go narrow. Pinch. You might have to go through this a few times, but you may feel an awesome release and a little bit more mobile through the hips. Yeah. All right, a little neck traction will most likely help you eliminate a little pain in the neck. Maybe you have headaches, tension headaches, discs, stuff, blah, 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 blah. Now, simply do this. Get a band, put it a little bit higher, just like this. Put it behind your neck, get a good amount. Don't be ridiculous where it's going to freaking decapitate you, okay? Be smart with this thing and logical. Now, what you could do is you can focus on breathing and relaxing into this, just like this. You can even focus on holding your head still and making... Maybe you've made some rotations left and right with this. Understand that not one video posted this week fixes anything. They don't. What they do is give you a little bit of relief. It simulates what it's going to feel like when you actually take the time to improve the root cause of your symptoms.